data sets are weak places that are easy to neutralize excess stomach acid and most of the antacids are weak inorganic bases. The common antacids include sodium bicarbonate, calcium carbonate, aluminum hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide, milk of magnesia, etc. As you can see, we can classify antacids into systemic antacids and non-systemic antacids. Where the systemic antacids are absorbed into the systemic circulation and show their antacid effect. But uh, these are not quite wide, widely used because uh, of uh, uh, having a systemic alkalosis effect. The non-systemic antacids uh, are non-absorbable and neutralize the gastric acid locally and the common non-systemic antacids are magnesium, aluminum and uh, calcium containing antacids. I can see the ideal antacid should not be absorbable or for systemic carbophosis and should not liberate carbon dioxide and it should not be a laxative or cause constipation and should probably inhibit pepsin inexpensive and it should buffer in the pH range of 4.6 so the various antacids we use may have uh, one or the other side effects mostly they are all not ideal so we make use of uh, uh, the combination uh, antacids uh, to nullify the side effects of one another here if you see the sodium bicarbonate uh, may cause uh, metabolic alkalosis um, like the calcium salts may cause uh, constipation and kidney stones aluminum salts may cause uh, constipation and uh, uh, magnesium salts uh, may have a laxative effect uh, and they are uh, uh, may, they may cause renal failure and when in the cases of renal failure they are uh, uh, not useful hence we use uh, uh, combination antacids the combination antacids may overcome the side effects of the commonly used drugs the constipating effect of calcium and aluminum containing antacids can be corrected with co-administration of magnesium containing antacids which are laxatives and apart from the above combinations or along with those above combinations we use some anti flatulence like cymethicone and dimethicone and some alginates which are uh, uh, used to prevent the uh, acid movements uh, into the esophagus and they may reduce esophageal ulcers also the important combination antacids in the market are calcium hydroxide and magnesium trisulfate calcium hydroxide gel and magnesium trisulfate sorry aluminum hydroxide gel and magnesium trisulfate and aluminum hydroxide gel and calcium carbonate so these combinations may contain dimethicone and cymethicone and they are all related as anti flatulence so you can see sodium benzoate like uh, substances as preservatives and some sweet ingredients like saccharins will also be a uh, ingredient in those formulations so i can conclude here that combination antacids show the same antacid effect as that of individual antacids uh, because of their summative doses and overcome or nullify the side effects of the individual drugs and uh, uh, these are useful in the form of mostly they are used in the form of tablets and suspensions thank you very much